bargain, as it's called, is often premised upon the human temptation to live without limits. To say that you have this opportunity, I'm giving you this opportunity to live for eternity, or to have anything you want, to fulfill every desire. Whatever it is that you may want, you can do so without limitation. And what Barry does in that essay is to suggest that we have lived through a period of time in which we all were part of a Faustian bargain, whether in some senses we knew it or not. And that we had signed on to an economic order in which we were offered a kind of bounties and limitless riches that could know no outer boundary, that knew no limits, and that we had reaped in some ways what we had sown. So Rock Barry writes uh, in terms that do not mince words, uh, he writes in terms that you could say are prophetic in that old biblical sense of the term. Highly and deeply moral, willing to condemn where condemnation is deserved, right, and willing to call forth uh, our better selves. This bear, the analysis uh, that Barry has, has offered of, of our situation, he writes, goes, goes as far back as America's founding. He, he has described America as a nation with two fundamental tendencies. These are tendencies, in fact, that one can see in the novel that we've read for today, The Memory of Old Jack. These two, these two tendencies, he's argued, were set in motion by the earliest European settlers in America and continue to, to define the fundamental political alter, alternatives in America, and economic and otherwise. In, the, in his book, The Unsettling of America, one of his earliest books, and following the usage of his teacher, Wallace Stegner, he said that Americans have been founded by two sorts of people, one whom he called boomers, and one whom he called stickers. The boomer mentality, he suggested, was manifest, manifested as a, as a proclivity toward a kind of restlessness, a kind of endless mobility, and a search always for something better around the corner. It also aimed at the maximum extraction of the stuff of the world, the resources that the bountiful new continent offered, and the accumulation of profits and goods from the new continent. Barry acknowledges that this worldview was dominant because it was organized at the very inception of the new continent. However, he also recognized another tendency that characterized a great many other settlers, whom he called stickers, who were marked, he said, by the tendency to stay put, to say, and I quote, no farther. This is the place. So Barry, to put it bluntly, saw the boomers as a bunch of pe as, as people who saw that nature was a bunch of stuff to be used, while the stickers saw themselves living in a place where one had to live for many generations and to treat it as such, to see that one had an investment in those places, not only in taking care of that place for oneself, but for future generations as well. So there's a strong connection, and I think you can see this in this book, that Barry writes between a strong sense of place and a strong sense of temporal continuity. 